jump right into it. First book in the old L collection is this Lex Luthor one shot, Unauthorized Biography. Cover swipe of Art of the Deal Trump book. Which I think is kind of cool. We got another Lex book. The Lex and Porky Pig uh, situation. The skill. My farm can help you with that. Whoa. Did you want to enable it? Look at Alexa speaking. Shut up, Alexa. This is between me and them, not you. Lobo. Lobo, Lobo number one. I've always been a big fan of that cover. I like, I feel like I like Lobo, but I've really read very little of that dude. Um, so I might have to fix that. If you have any good Lobo recommendations, let your boy know. Okay, now we're going to get into... It's a pretty, the rest of my L uh, books is my Lois Lane collection. Superman's Girlfriend Lois Lane. Um, I did a, a previous video on this when I kind of first acquired these books. Where I was getting a kick out of what I call the Superman being a dick covers because there's quite a few of them. Uh, this one is the key of the run. First Silver Age Catwoman. Uh, very happy to have that book in the collection to kind of go with all these Silver Age uh, first appearance books of the Rogues Gallery. We'll get to those in the Batman section. Um, I'm going to have to make two videos for the Batman section. Um, but boom, that's a nice addition to you know, my quest for the Batman <coughs> Rogues Gallery books. Check this camera's right. I always have myself cut off on these. Boom. Playing the xylophone of death on that one. Uh, Lois Lane number... Number 62, where she's running for office against Superman. And he's kind of being a dick. And he's like, Lois, why are you even bothering running for president or senator? You know I would make the better <laughs> election. Or uh, whatever. The better choice. Here's Lois getting slapped because she's trying to mack on Jor-El on Krypton. You know, it's... You know what's the thing I like about these books is that Every cover you see from this run, here's a great one, of her about to get straight darted to death. The Superman's just taken off like, see ya. Um, when you know he could sense it, right? Can he, like, listen to that shit? Hear, he'd be able to hear something. Um, but what I was saying was, every scene that you see on the cover of these Lois Lane comics happens right in a panel of the book. So it's cool, it's not like false advertising. You know, they come through. Here's Superman accusing Lois Lane of murder while she's tied up to a polygraph <laughs> test. 
It is a great one. Superman just sentencing her to death. He's like, so long, Lois. Have fun getting s smashed by this truck off a cliff. That's one of the heavy duty... That's one of the most dickhead moves by old Superman. Him, again, accusing her of murder. Batman's like, Jesus, this guy's crazy. Bam. Bold cover. I killed Lois Lane. And again, this is another issue that this scene happens right in the panel in the book. He does, in fact, kill Lois Lane. Uh, let's see. And the last one from my Lois Lane collection is Lois marrying this dude who's sure to be abusive. This looks like an abusive relationship. Her and Titan Man. And Superman's like, sucker. <laughs> So there's the L's. Um, let's get into the M's, man. I got. I feel like I got a lot of good stuff in the M's. Um, these. Oh man. We got a drop, but who's counting? Um, these. I've had these for so long. As a kid, I used to. I don't know. I had a few issues of major bummer. Does anyone? I've never even seen anyone show. A major bummer comic on YouTube before. So, hey, if that's worth something, there you go. It is kind of a wacky. I don't even really remember the premise. It's been so long. Beautiful Martian Manhunter Middleton uh, cover that I bought. That was a cover by. I really don't read Martian Manhunter, but I couldn't resist. It's just a very uh, sketch cover for Multiversity. I can't imagine I'd ever have anyone s s actually sketch on that. But Marvel Presents number one. I understand Marvel Presents number six is like the hotness right now. Because of Wolverine's daughter or something like that. Um, these next books. Let me show them properly. Let's see. I'm going to... Let me show these together as a run. The Marvels. Uh, Kurt Busiek, Alex Ross series. I have zero, three, five. I was a big fan of this series. Great color. I love that color. I love all these colors. Which is why. Which is why I didn't know I could not resist the newly released Marvel's annotated uh, comics they've been putting out. I'll grab some nice virgin variants. Silver Surfer, King of Torch. That's a beauty. I really love that as a virgin color. As I do this one. Fire. Spectacular. Amazing. If you will. How dope is that? Love it. Let's see what we got next. I'm feeling very low-key. A little tired today, to be honest. I'm kind of just chilling. Unwinding. And going through these books. So I apologize if I don't have the usual comic head energy that some of you may have come to expect. But we're just chilling. We're just chilling going through these books, all right? This is kind of a little, uh, what's the word? This is kind of therapeutic for me right now. It's been a long day. Marvel Tales. This is the OG comic that I owned as a kid that I read a million times. Uh, and this is why I was so pumped when I got back to collecting and buying slabs. I bought the original annual number three slapped uh, because I love this book so much. One of my favorite covers of all time and a really fun story. So that's a good one. That's a childhood collection book right there. I'll never get rid of that book. <clears throat> Next we have oh we might not be in great number order here. Let's see. 
We actually have this little Mephisto versus run. Mephisto versus Fantastic Four versus X Factor versus X Men and Mephisto versus Avengers. That was a pretty cool little lot of books to have. Uh, what was I? Okay. Uh, these next few books. These next few books are kind of cool. We got a Marvel Age with my boy John Byrne reproducing the Fantastic Four One color. Marvel Universe Illustrators with a you know, Marvel Encyclopedia. Bam. Update 99. And uh, D through G. That's those. What we got next? Got a little Machine Man, number one. We got some Midnight Suns. Could, I could have sworn they had this in my Ghost Rider box. Maybe not. Ooh, these are great. These are fantastic. Uh, let me show them in number order for you. The Marvel Masterpiece comics. Each page is like just a full page art piece of the Joe Jusco art for the cards. That's number one. Number two. Number three. And number four. Very nice. Uh, just a little random Marvel superheroes summer special. Multiple man number one from the recent run. Marvel age number one. Marvel Secret Wars number two. The only Secret Wars issue I have. I found it in a doll event, so I couldn't leave it there. I would eventually like to complete that run. Uh, the recently rebooted Marvel Knights, number one. Number two. To be honest, I didn't really like it. I didn't really like it. Even though I think Donny Cates was writing it, but. Didn't do it for me. Um, but what did do it for me out of that run was this beautiful variant cover to issue number two. This J. Lee Electra. Damn, I love that cover. I wouldn't mind getting this slab if I knew it was going to be a 9 8, which it might be. I just love the symmetry, the color palette, the design. I love everything about it. I would have loved for it to be a virgin cover, but what are you going to do? I don't know if I need to show you every book. Marvel Team Up, Aunt May, Franklin Richards. I got a few issues of Marvel Zombies, kind of like cover swipes. You know, Nick Fury 4, 3. Iron Man first appearance. Marvel Comics number one. This one that I never quite figured out what it was swiping. Let me know if you know. Because it kind of irks me that I don't know. Mr. Miracle. The Wedding of Barda in Miracle. Uh, let's 
see. <clears throat> Boom. So all this is a run of one of my favorite characters. Magneto. I love that cover very much. This was a run that I had a short stint where I was collecting and just not collecting but going to comic shops every Wednesday in whatever year this was. Maybe this is like three to five years ago. And this was one of my weekly pickups was Magneto. And I loved it. This is a great run. Number five. Look at that color. Look at this next color. Look at this. Look at that. Fantastic color. I kind of liked his black suit too. Black Magneto suit is cool. I'm not that big on the white one. So the black one's cool. Then when it started to like cross over into this Axis storyline, they weren't as good, but it's still pretty good. This is kind of a cool one. Big Rogue's Gallery on there. So, a little Onslaught. I think that's Red Skull in the Onslaught suit. Yeah. Kind of a nice one. Number 14. That's 1 through 14, y'all. Uh, then I'm kind of missing a couple. That's 18. 20 and 21 so that's my Magneto run it's a good series I'd recommend it and <clears throat> speaking of runs that I would recommend This was books that I was picking up, I think, at that same time, when I was going to the shop every week. Moon Knight, number one, the Warren Ellis run, fantastic. Truly the only Moon Knight that I've read, like, follow through. And I thought Ellis killed it. He only did like the first six issues. One through six. And I continued with it for a while. Seven. This guy Brian Wood took over. And he was good. But the Ellis was great. Number nine. And number ten. Great colors. <clears throat> Moon Knight number 50. Older run. Moon Knight number 200. In Morbius number 1. Kid. Rise of the Midnight Suns. Bang. Okay, I hope this video is not terribly boring. Like I said, I think I'm a little low energy here, but let's bring it to the ends, y'all. You know I got New Orleans one. First print, second print. Number 25. Night Thrasher, number one. From the miniseries. 
the other Night Thrasher no more. Bang! New Gods, number one. Volume two or three. New Defenders. New Mutants 21. Well, probably should have shown this one first. Uh, New Mutants number one. Pretty cool. New Mutants Annual, number one, the great color. New Talent Showcase, which is kind of a cool thing that DC did, where they let a lot of like up and coming artists and writers have mini series, all those stories, and the No Prize book, which is kind of like a fun collection of errors and misprints from. Marvel Comics history. As you can see, error on the cover there. That's why it's upside down. Just a cool Stan Lee cover. And a fun book. What do we got here? Oh, we got the letter O. Old Man Hawkeye, number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. This was a great run. I was a little late to the party, so that's why one through five, or one through six, I ran in a trade. And then I finished off the series following each week. Fire. And it was that run that got me picking up some Old Man Quill 1 and 2. After issue 2, I kind of started, you know, easing back the new comic book day stuff. And I've been keeping up with it. It's a good series. I've just been reading it online. Boom. That's the whole O category. We're in P right now. Power Pack, number one. There's my Prowler. Hip Hop cover. Still don't know what hip hop album that is. Trial of the Punisher, one and two. Here's another good run from, again, from that same time. I'm not sure what year it is, but during like the Marvel Now era, I was going back to the shop. They were doing like the Marvel AR augmented reality app for a while. Then I was picking things up, and during that time, Punisher got rebooted. I think it's great. The artist Mitch Gerards from. Recently, Mr. Miracle Fame does the art in this book. And he's really good for Punisher. It's a cool story. It's about Punisher. Punisher leaves New York and goes to LA. So the whole story is him in LA. It's kind of cool. His villain is, for the first arc anyway. Electro. Kind of a cool villain for Punisher to go at. Yeah. Really solid covers from Gerard's the whole time. He starts going through this period where he's like wearing a Punisher mask. Which is cool. Yeah, pretty badass. Ooh, look at this. Dude, how fire is that? Makes me think of like Rambo, Predator. 
great color. Look, in the great colors, keep coming. Look at that. Bang. Bang. Punisher symbol on the Lincoln Lincoln Memorial with Punisher right there. Dude, fire. Gerard is really killing it on that run. 1 through 18. I might be missing a couple, I don't know. But it was a good read. I recommend it. I think, I don't know if that was the Punisher number one for after that one finished or something like that. Random War Journal. True Believer of the Punisher's first appearance. I like to get a facsimile of that issue. The True Believers, they just like, they alter the cover too much. For my taste, but those facsimiles are clean. We're almost done, guys. Um. Alright, this is the rest of the whole box. So from P, we're gonna jump to Q. Now the children, the quantum quartet. Question number one. Red Sonia number one. Red Sonia and Tarzan. Virgin color. J. Lee. Radioactive Man. I'm just realizing I don't have Radioactive Man number one. Slap. Ragman number one. Only just a few issues of ROM. So, that's it. Pump these beats. Hope you enjoyed. Put some of these back in the box. Put a lid on this thing. LTR. Uh, thanks for joining me, y'all. See you later.